That's the reason. It brings out the point that many well-known sports writers have said that the roller derby is the only major sport of the present day in which men and women compete on an equal basis. <laughs> Can I say, it's a bloody, bruised, horrible, wonderful sport. My name is David Holm. I uh, go by the name of Hijinx in Roller Derby. I've been playing with Empire State Roller Derby for the past six years. And now I'm uh, one of the coaches of the team, uh, one of the managers of the team, and one of the owners of the team. The longest order of it is, is that you have you know, two teams uh, on the track at the time. It's five skaters from each team. That, that's consistent across all of the sets. The jammer wears a star on their helmet to designate them as a jammer. And their job is to get through the pack break out of the front of the pack and sprint around and try and actually start lapping players from the other team. For every player on the second pass that they, they pass, they get a point. Now the interesting thing about that is that as your team is trying to assist you getting through the pack, the other team's like team is their blockers are trying to stop you from getting through the pack. So it's this consistent like offense and defense play at the same time, which is kind of fascinating. It's like one of the only sports that you actually do that. I am Tiffany, or TNT The Bill. I'm one of the founding members of this league. I've been skating for about eight years. I'm head coach and one of the co-owner managers here. A friend of mine was just uh, going to practice with the roller derby team that just formed in Chester, New York. And I was like, roller derby? So a bunch of chicks on roller skates beating each other up. It's like, yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm there. Started doing this about seven or eight years ago when I had a marriage therapist tell me I needed to get a hobby and get out of the house. And this seemed a hell of a lot more interesting like than sport. golf. I'm easy like this. My name is Gary Powers. I'm the executive director and the curator of the National Roller Derby Hall of Fame and Museum in New York City. Roller Derby was started in 1935 by a Midwest promoter by the name of Leo Seltzer. It was in the Depression and Leo Seltzer was trying to find events for a, a giant building called the Chicago Coliseum. So one night, Leo Seltzer was reading a magazine in, in a restaurant and he noted that more people roller skated in the United States and participated in any other kind of sport and more women roller skated than men. This is roller skating, America's favorite fun sport, a wholesome year-round recreation. One of our truly great all-American participant sports. Roller derby started as, as races. And one day, the way that it actually transitioned over was one day these two girls were out and they were racing and the one girl was about to pass the other girl and, you know, she accidentally tripped the other girl. And they got into a fight. And all of the men at this race like started hooting and hollering and, and it went crazy and the guy who was organizing Leo Seltzer decided you know hey maybe there's some money in this you know women fighting on the track thing <laughs> that's really how it, 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 it evolved Jerry Murray, Lance Lopez, Danny Calvello, Mary Ciafani, and Tony Hill. Beautiful girls on the Chief team getting ready to take the track. And the score now, Red Devil 28, Chief 17. <laughs> Thank you. 
Basically, it was the men were the refs. You know, they were the support staff, pretty much. Um, and and eventually, they started saying, you know, hey, we, we, we kind of want to get in on this. We want to play roller derby. And there's a lot more acceptance, I think, in men's derby now. Because for a while, there was definitely a bit of almost this weird competitive thing, like, you know, why should you be involved in derby? You know, this is a women's sport. To me, playing with men, I would look at men like big girls with beards. <laughs> and I mean, I love them, <laughs> but um, I think it's who you are as a player. I mean, if I'm, if I have 50 pounds heavier than you are, I'm not gonna come over and try to clobber you. And I think that there's that unspoken discretion on the track. It's well balanced as far as the energy that, that everybody brings, um, your brothers and sisters, you know. you know. And I understand that, you know, roller derby is a very empowering sport, but it's a empowering sport for people, for sure. With a certain type of mentality, you have to be a little bit off to really want to do this. And I freely admit that I'm just maybe a little bit off, but a lot of people are off much more than me. Um, but it's a fun because it kind of attracts everybody who's off a little bit. And we do something that's pretty stupid. We roll around on skates and beat each other up. And it's fabulous. Stupid but fabulous. Come on, come on, come on. 